Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of Nana Iro Reincarnation. Last episode we uh, inherited this estate from our grandfather who was big into like uh, clairvoyance and we've inherited his ability to see demons and ghosts and other otherworldly things. Um, some of them are actually living with us as it turns out and this is the room that was completely off limits when we were visiting with our grandfather. This is like a goddamn uh, fucking like battle station here, you know, like you can launch a nuclear missile or something with this kind of room. What the heck is this? I enter the room and get taken aback. So many monitors, you wonder if they're all needed. Yes, every one of them. Several humongous desktop towers are lined up the shelf with a bunch of cables protruding from them. There's a high-tech room. How much does this cost to me in electricity? Nani. This is Eo's room. What is it, you ask? What the heck is this room? Eo <laughs> violently mashes the buttons on her control while squinting at the monitor. What are you playing? Uh, I haven't heard of that. Is that some kind of online game? You sound pretty vulgar right now. Oh, I see. Anyway, you're in a tracksuit. What happened to your kimono? Also, you've got your bangs up. You're like a completely different person. Who are you? Oh. A demon wearing a tracksuit is repeatedly shouting die while playing an online game in a high spec room with an AC at full blast. That's how you know it's a visual novel. Is this okay? I mean, this is completely different from my perception of her, which she's perfectly utilizing today's modern technology. I mean, she had a cell phone. Oh, it's uh, time for dinner. As it were. No, you'll come now. Okay. You, you, oh, you know what? You can do that. Oh. Quite less about the room is not to disturb her. I'm pretty sure the other players wouldn't imagine they're fighting alongside a non-human. Boy, what a shock that would be. Reality is even crazier than fiction. Seriously. I sit on a floor cushion and observe Kiku's moments. Moments? Movements. She comes and goes from the kitchen to the living room and sets the dishes on the low table. Curry, soup, salad, and for some reason, braised radish. Smells good. Looks good too. Oh my god, it is so hot in my room. I bust out the other fan. Eo enters the living room while rubbing her tummy. Is she some old man? She's got her belly button out. Thanks. Right. All complete. Huh? You won't eat, Kiku? Oh, that's nonsense. I can't have you going hungry. I mean, well, I mean, do you eat? Do you need to eat? Okay, who, who, who's paying for all of this? Because it's not me. I'll have you know that right now. How could you be sick of pizza? That's what you've been eating all this time? That's true. It's almost, the world is almost too convenient these days. I mean, you can literally do almost anything from the comfort of your own home. You can buy groceries online, you can buy anything you want online for the most part. You know, you'll, you'll never want for anything. As long as you have an internet connection of some sort. I see. You use Graham's credit card, he's dead. 
You know, it's not. You can't do that. Like, they're gonna find out eventually that he's dead, and you know, we're gonna get the cops called on us. I see. So that's how you've been surviving. Well, all right, let's eat together from now on. Sure, I mean, it seems like Mom made a lot, she always does. This is enough for three people, you know, because she probably thinks I was going to starve to death. You don't have to hold back. You are way too prim and proper for this household. Go ahead, it really doesn't suit me to act all superior. What? No, you. Uh. Thank you. Jeez, was that so hard? Good, let's eat together. Eat, eat, eat the dakimas. Yeah, I know some Japanese. I played Gogo Nippon like four times. She flashes a slightly worried smile and returns to the kitchen. We are going to live under the same roof after all. It's a bit awkward to have our meals separately. <laughs> You're eating already. Wait until Kikyo comes back. And besides, that, that's mine. I don't want to be treated too formally, but you you have absolutely no intention of respecting me. Why not? Isn't that what demons are supposed to be? You're supposed to serve me? Huh? Wait, you're not a demon? You're not a demon? What are you? Are you a ghost? What are you? Well, let's see here. Uh, you don't mean... Are you an angel? The Shiki Warashi. I, I don't know what that is. What? Now that, that doesn't really clarify anything. Where can you find a Zashiki Warashi that's an online game addict who wears a tracksuit? <sighs> so suspicious. I can't trust her. I mean, what's up with your hair? Did you dye it? Huh? Well, you Zashiki Warashi should have black hair, right? You don't look the least bit Japanese. So suspicious. Are you like the girl from the ring? Is that what that is? <laughs> oh, that explains some things. How petty. Like what, for example? Three bloody big hairprints along there. Oh god, that's horrifying. You're a monster. Hold on a sec. So you were the one who traumatized my dad. What are you so proud of? Why are you bringing fear instead of happiness? You really aren't a Zashiki Warashi. I'm sorry, please don't. She hums cheerfully to herself and chomps down on her spoon.
The Shikiwashi usually have an innocent image to them. Is it really okay for her to be so evil? He was saying die a moment ago, too. That's not how you should react, right? You've already eaten. That's my portion. No, no, you're not. No. What a clip. Good. Let me have it before she gets three portions. Ikyo gingerly smiles at you, who just secured curry for two before returning to the kitchen. She takes a seat beside Io after bringing back portions for me and herself. Alright, so, once again, itadakimasu. Let's dig in. Ah, see? I told you I knew Japanese. Don't chomp on the plate. We also begin to eat our meal after Io. Yep, it's good. Very good. I won't be able to eat my mom's cooking for a while, so I really gotta savor it while I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't talk with your mouthful. That's rude. What? <laughs> don't we have like a mission we gotta do or something? You've got curry around your mouth, you know that? Oh, I, I do mind. The details, actually. Iyo grabs a tissue and stretches out her hand. Iyo continues while having her mouth wiped. Oh, finally. Oh, yeah. About becoming the eighth head. No, the, the protector of the town or something? I mean, it's, it's a bit of a stretch to call me the eighth and present head of the family anyway. What should I do as protector of this town? Should I be fighting monsters with demons or something? Like, like Yokai Watch? <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? A good game. Hey! Hi. You guys all hyped for the Pokemon game? Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. Appease the wandering souls in the town. What do you mean, appease? What does that mean? Solve their problems? Mostly conversing with them. So, like, why do I have to do this? Is it because I can see them? Is that why? Like, oh, oh sorry, you're, well, you're like the only person who can see them, so it's up to you. So it helped them depart in peace, basically, right? Oh good, I like that. Something I can, you know, every, every, you know, few minutes out of my day, you know, help a wandering soul go to the next world. I'm all about that. About helping people. Hmm, I can sort of understand. Yeah, you're probably right. It's one of those, well, once you start doing it, you know, you'll get it. You may be right, but I I've got a question. It may not be nice to ask this right away off the bat, but... What happens to a soul if I fail to notice it and it keeps on wandering? Hmm. Okay. So, why should I perform a mission? Oh. Oh god. Failed Rose, you died? しにすら気づいていないもの。そういったものたちでございます。確かに捨て置いても多くは内容に影響がございません。ですが、手を差し伸べねば永遠にさまようことになるかもしれない。死してなおなぜそのような苦痛を味わわねばならぬのか。成
まことの役目は精一杯生きた者たちをもう休んでいいんだよとそっと抱きしめてやることじゃ立派な仕事だとは思わんか So that's the mission Gramps was doing. おじじのおじじもそのまたおじじもこの町は鏡家がずっと見守ってきたわけじゃな That's a lot of pressure. ないというのならば止めんがのなんじゃその沈黙は I was lost in thought. I'll do it. I do think it's a wonderful job. I really do. Because I have no choice. They will nag me until the end of my days. I don't. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think I'll ask a lot of questions. Anyway, I'll try going out tomorrow. I want to try meeting a lot of soul, like Eo said. Oh, so you're going to be able to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I mean, you said it yourself. It doesn't sound too bad. You know, it's not too difficult. You know, it's just something good to do to help, you know, the wandering souls of the town. I can accept pretty much anything except you being as a shishiwarashi. Yo pouts her mouth and Kiku gently wipes it. I also chow down on my curry while warmly watching over them. Feels like I've gone back to my childhood days. I played so hard with Eo, the maids were around. Such nostalgic childhood memories. Ah, those memories might be the reason why I can remain so calm. But honestly speaking, I'm still confused. I mean, half of me still has no idea what's going on. Part of me wonders why I even accepted the situation. But if it's a job Gramps has always done, well, if he really entrusted his mission to me, I, I want to do everything I can to meet his expectations. I don't want to let him down. After all, I, I couldn't be there at his moment of death. I want this to be, you know, my final way of paying respects to him at least. Right. I'll do my best starting tomorrow. This is way beyond what I expected, though. Oh, me too. What do you mean, seconds? This is like your fifth. My new life's about to begin. Alright. I should have ended the last episode off there, but. I'm playing this blind, so you know. Oh, oh my god, it's a calendar! That's awesome! It's my second day living in Gramps' place. I wake up extra early to unpack my remaining luggage. I've got a lot of things to do today, after all. Gotta cross out the troublesome tasks off my list first. Oh, you know, I just read some more in peace. A reference book used for my lectures. Can barely understand its contents. Just leave it there, I'll take up my room later. I breeze through unpacking with Eo's help. A faint, delicious scent wafts from, from the kitchen. Ooh. Before I know it, it's already time for lunch. Well, I was able to organize quite a lot. I'll come back to this later. Great timing. <laughs> Stew, perhaps? Mom made some of the curry yesterday. Yes. I don't need it now, but I'm gonna have some later. She retreats into the kitchen and briefly returns with dishes on a tray. She finishes setting the table after making several trips back to the kitchen. Cream stew and yesterday's braised leftovers. We have a decent meal today, thanks to Mom. Alright, let's dig in. I scoop up the food and savor it after cooling it down with my breath. Mmm, good. Yum yum. Mom made a lot, so I won't have to worry about food for a while. We still have some more left for the three of us. Thanks, Mom. No. What? They've already gone. How? It's been a day. What about yesterday's curry? There should still be some left. Eo's looking a little uh, flustered there. 
Yuki apologetically casts her eyes down, and I notice that you averts her gaze at the same time. What's with that look? You know exactly what I mean. So it's you. Spill. You ate it. All of it? You had... You had so many servings yesterday, yet you still ate last night. Don't call me out of the blue. I only had seconds once. I didn't even eat four bowls like you. She trembles all over while gripping the spoon tightly. She doesn't feel sorry about it at all. She's just sorry she got caught. I can't cook. Oh man. Oh, you can cook. She can't go shopping. <laughs> Obviously, she's a demon. Sure, that's fine. I can do that. Oh, I'm sorry. When did you get a say in any of this? You know, I wouldn't have to be relying on her if you didn't eat all of our fucking food. So you're telling me to cook my own meals? そうではないが、それに近い。とにかく危機を似たより過ぎるな。ただでさえ右も左もわからん時期じゃからの。依存心が芽生えてしまっては誠がダメになる。I'm sorry, you have lost all privileges to make any requests. By Ohika, you mean the box lunch store in the shopping district? I mean, I don't really mind, but can I ask something? We're having problems with food because of you. Why are you still acting all haughty? Yeah, and as Eo mentioned, I plan on going out after eating. Could you teach me about my mission? Hi. We're gonna find somebody with. Oh, she's gonna come with us. Nice. Again with the haughtiness. Wow, you're the worst. <laughs> we continue with our meal while having unimportant conversations. After this, I can finally begin my mission. I wonder what will happen. I'm filled with the both expectations and uneasiness. I leave the house with Kiku after resting for a little while after lunch. Now I hope I can learn more about my mission. I'm supposed to look for wandering souls in the town, right? Hi. How do I do that? By looking at for them straight up? Like, how do I know if they're actually, like, a soul? So... What if there's a funny thing where we think someone's dead, but they're actually like totally alive? Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, uh, you don't realize they're ghosts if you see them. So someone's walking with like one arm, and the other arm's like severed off, you could probably... They're probably dead, right? Oh boy. Yeah, this doesn't sound easy at all. I see. Well, I guess I can only tell from the reactions of people around me. This is hard. I wonder if I could find any at all. Yeah, 
ここ数年は体調のこともあり、先代がお役目を十分に果たせていなかった。Oh, yeah, he wasn't able to do any of it. There's gonna be a lot of ghosts running around. So there might be a high encounter rate? はい。しばらく忙しくなるかもしれません。Got it. Anyway, let's try walking around the area. See what we find.、はい、I mean, is it better to go to unpopulated areas? I mean, I don't even know. Alright. Well, looks like we have to search for them the good old fashioned way. I proceed freely while talking with Kiku. It's been a while since I've walked around town like this. I still don't understand my mission, but I guess I'll take this opportunity to have a leisurely walk and to reminisce. At least. That was the plan. It's so hot. I gave up after an hour of sweltering heat. I run into the arcade in the shopping district from shade and gulp down some ice cold tea. Why you, Kikyu? <laughs> can you even feel temperature? It should be hot for you in those clothes. Demons sure are incredible. No. <laughs> ただ私が食事などをあまり必要としていないだけで。OK。Come to think of it, you don't eat much. はい。ですが、他のにはもっと食べると思いますよ。いいよさまくらい。I'm starting to get worried about our budget. <laughs> Y'all are gonna start to find jobs. I quickly scan the surroundings with the plastic bottle still in my mouth. I don't sense anything out of the ordinary. It's just an average day. I'm beginning to doubt if there are actually any ghosts. So, this is me. Motomoto Shiga of Radio Namachiva Gozaimasekara. Send I more Hitotsuki of Tatsuki in Hitori Mikakirito. Oh, wow. Saikin wa yoku reni de outo kanjiri hodo dato. Hmm, I see, but I think that's a lot for one year considering that there's one every few months. How about that sleeping man over there? Hmm. Do animals count? I mean, how about that cat that's been staring at us for a while now? Uh oh. What about that worn down bicycle? I mean, can inanimate objects be ghosts? Oh. Okay, well. Let's see.、Hmm, I take another sip of tea. Been like this for the past hour. The guy lying down on the park bench is just a homeless person. The guy holding a camera and standing very still near the train tracks is just another train fanatic. No ghosts in sight? Ah,、oh, the encounter rate is so low, it'd actually be better if there weren't any at all. I mean, but it still hasn't hit me. It's like someone's pulling my leg. Makoto sama. Hmm? Mo shou shou. Koe o saita ho ga yoroshi ka. You're right. <laughs> I look like a freaking idiot. Because, you know, she, you can't see her. So it looks like I'm talking to myself. Huh? I realize that other people are shooting glances my way. A female student nearby is just staring at me, dumbfounded. The display window behind me only shows my reflection, which means. I'm a completely suspicious person. I should stop talking out loud. Shall we go? Hi. If anyone asks, just say you're on your Bluetooth. Huh? Someone called out to me as soon as I stood up. It was that girl staring at me earlier. What is it? She wouldn't call the cops, which she got, I hope not. How do you get your hair like that? Sure, what is it? Oh, you lost your dog? A dog? Shiba. She tries very hard with gestures to describe her dog to me. I see, she's looking for her dog. Do you have a picture? I see. Alright, well, stray dogs are a rare sight around here, so I think I know when I see them. I'll let you know when I find them. Alright, 
った親切にしてくれたのはあなた方が初めてですありがとうございます wait, 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 wait あ、私、ますよろしくお願いします商店街を出て、まっすぐ進んだところにある家に住んでます。ああ、no, これもわかんないですよね。<笑>ごめんなさい。You don't have a cell phone? 私、携帯とか持ってなくて。And even toddlers have cell phones nowadays. So you're Takigawa then. Don't worry, I think I can find you in the telephone directory. はい。では、よろしくお願いします。失礼します。She takes a bow of gratitude and scuttles away. She's wearing a uniform, even though it's summer vacation. She must have found out her dog was missing after coming home from club activities. That's a pity. I've got no luck with my mission, so I guess I should help out with the dog search. My mission's to be prioritized? Huh? Huh? So she's like me. Also,、yeah. oh, girls got all the cool powers. I see how it is. Oh man. Oh man. Which means I should go dog hunting? Alright. Good. Let's start looking from the opposite direction of where she went. That would be smart. Divide and conquer. I toss the plastic bottle into the garbage bin and head out. A girl with the same power as me and Gramps. A younger girl. Well, as a guy, that doesn't sound bad at all. Better work hard. What I didn't know was that meeting here would have a profound effect on my destiny. At least at that time. Just kidding. Hi. It's nothing. Let's go. You gotta find a dog. We walk for a while. Despite walking quite a distance, we come up with absolutely nothing. No dog, nor any signs of ghosts. Before I know it, the sun's setting. <sighs> yeah, let's. Though、no, we came up with nothing, we postpone the search for dogs and ghosts and head back home. We return to the shopping district once more to buy tonight's dinner. のり弁2つとデラックスマクノーチのお客様あ、ah, yes 1500円ですあ、uh, here's that exact amount 毎度ありがとうございます You don't sound very thrilled I take the plastic bag with the lunch boxes and walk towards Kiki who's waiting a slight distance away Sorry to keep waiting Eus was the most expensive of course <laughs> こういうことも That's alright. It's not much trouble anyway. I was told not to rely much on you too, so let's go. How can you carry it? It's okay. I walk with a plastic bag in hand. I mean, wouldn't that look weird?、Uh, just a bag floating in midair? Like, come on. No one's questioning that. But I stopped my tracks after a few steps. Can we take a detour? Hi. Thanks. After leaving the shopping district, I turn left on the street where we usually turn right. I try to take a path with the least amount of people. I figure I'll find the dog faster that way. But I still can't find it. I guess it's not that easy. I mean, the dog might not even be around. I at least wanted to find the dog even if I couldn't find a ghost. Let's call it a day. Hi. Let's drop by the convenience store and buy tomorrow's breakfast while we're out and about. As I'm about to call it quits, huh? The girl from earlier is standing at the side of the road, staring absent mindedly into the distance. I take a closer look and find a dog at her feet. It's a tiny Sheba. Well, good, she found him. I decided to just pass by. I better call out to her. Hey, Takigawa! <laughs> Upon noticing me, she flashes a smile and totters over. Hey, good to see you found your dog! What do you mean, find? Oh no! Wait. Uh, the dog's. 
Yuki whispers to my ear to interrupt me. What? Why? Why can't she see the dog? I glanced at Takigawa's feet. The dog's wagging its tail and it's sitting up to snuggle her. Aww. There's no way she hasn't noticed that she's acting like he's not around. Oh, it can't be. No, the dog is dead. That's horrible. Oh, it's nothing. Actually, we couldn't find your dog. Sorry, I wasn't of any help. No, I was just strolling around because I had something else to do. He looks so absent-minded earlier. Is something wrong? Are you alright? I, I live nearby, so you could come to rest. Uh, I'm saying that the blue just makes me look suspicious. That's so sad. The poor dog is dead and just wants to snuggle up with its master once more. And it can't. ここ散歩コースなんです。いつもこのくらいの時間にこの道を通ってました。だからこの辺歩いてれば会えないかなって。でも会えませんでした。どこ行っちゃったんでしょうね、コタロってば。Oh man, I wonder what to say to her. I mean, I can tell she's anxious and worried even though she tries to act all cheerful. I couldn't possibly say anything reckless to make her feel better. Oh, I'm Kagami. Makoto Kagami. Alright, well be careful. I'll keep helping you until we find him. She takes a bow and hurries away. So wait a minute, she could see the... The demon, but she can't see the dog? I don't understand. Why can't she see the dog? If she could see the demon. It looked like the dog was going to chase after her, but he stays put. Still seated, he wags his tail. He watches his owner go away. I can't bring myself to just watch him, so I gently pat his head. So you could touch ghosts too. I can feel his soft fur, I can definitely feel his presence, and yet I can't feel his body heat. That makes sense. How should I explain to her that the dog she's been desperately searching for is already dead? So this well, if you're clueless, then so am I. Besides, I wonder why this dog didn't run after her. He already found his master. Yeah? Yeah? Something. Huh. She said this was their usual path. I can understand if he was waiting for her over here. But other than that, there would be no reason to remain in this area. Something happened to him in this place. Something is binding him to this area. I have no clue. I didn't expect to find b both a dog and a ghost. Just great. Yeah. We'll be back, okay? Could you wait for us? I say as I stand up and ruffle his head. The dog doesn't move from the area. His beady eyes just stare back at me whenever I turn to look at him. Aww. Underdeveloped. Maybe that's what it was. Well, that's, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. That was actually kind of a touching episode. I feel bad for the dog. Poor guy. And uh, I'll see you all next time on more Nanira Reincarnation. Have a good day, everybody, and take care.